everyone. I am coming to you 18 days post-op of my cervical fusion at the C5, C6. This is just an update to let you guys know how I'm doing at this point. Um, the last time I come to you, I was in a lot of pain. Um, this is like a week later. Things seem to be getting a little bit better. I'm actually sleeping a little bit better at night. I've found a way to get my neck comfortable, which is basically just hovering on the edge of a pillow and taking my muscle relaxers. If I did not take my muscle relaxers at night, I don't know if I could be in the comfortable position to sleep. I called my doctor. I told them that I was having the electrical sensations in my body. And they told me that was probably just my nerves waking up. And they want me to take 600 milligrams of gabapentin or neurotin three times a day for nerve pain. That stuff puts me in la la land. <laughs> it makes me sleepy, but I'm going to do what I have to do to get better and to hopefully not have those feelings anymore. I'm still on my Lortab 10. Nothing has changed with that. I still take it like I'm supposed to. The nurse told me don't baby my neck, um, that the burning sensation in my shoulders was probably muscle pain and that I need to stretch my neck and work my neck a little bit more than what I've been doing. You know, one minute they tell you don't be doing this and that and the next minute they tell you don't baby it. So it's like, what do you do? So I've been trying to do a little turning of my head, a little extra, you know, working it and everything. Um, I do go back for my next appointment on June 5th. We'll have some x-rays done then and I will let you guys know what's going on with my x-rays and everything. But for now, you know, everything's looking good. I mean, this looks really good, I think. Um, and I'm using the Mederma on it as well to hopefully try to put down on the scar. I am supposed to have another surgery. I am in need of a fusion at my, oh, let's see, what is it, L, the last L in my spine and the S1, which is right, just as low as you can go. Um, I've had problems with that my entire life. Um, at this moment, it's not unbearable. But what basically happened was, is I had a broken back that fused itself and it's fused incorrectly and it needs to be fixed. The doctor said he could do what he called a short surgery, which is six hours long, that he did not want to attempt to do the long surgery, which is 12 hours long, which is basically taking my spine and moving it from this direction to this direction and sitting it back on top of each other. He said that's very dangerous and he doesn't really want to attempt to do that at first. So I'm going to go with a fusion and some titanium plates in my lower back. That will be a whole new set of documentaries for me, um, but I will document that as well to let you guys know what you'd be looking at if you have to have one of those surgeries done. It's probably going to be a few months from now. Um, I'm not jumping to have it done right away. I definitely want to get over this first. Anyway, that is my update. And the next update I have, I will come back and let you guys know how I'm doing. So, for now, that is me, Kim, and I am out.